A man is giving his dog a bath. In the previous second, he was relaxed and happy, but in the next second, his face became serious. He slowly closed the heavy iron gate, and then securely sealed all the doors and windows of the villa with steel plates. Only then did the man take a gun and lie down in the bathtub with his dog. The reason why he did this was that the night was not ruled by humans, but by a terrible creature called the night monster. Three years ago, the Black Plague virus swept the world, and less than 1% of the world's 6 billion people survived. What's even more terrifying is that this virus can be transmitted not only through bodily fluids, but also through the air. Among the surviving humans, only 1% of them are immune to the virus, while the rest have all been infected and turned into night monsters. As one of the few immune humans, Robert Neville lives alone in this empty city with his beloved dog, Sam. Who keeps him from feeling too lonely? To pass the time, Robert goes to the music and video store every day to buy new DVDs and chat with the mannequins he has deliberately placed there. Then he goes to the port and turns on all the radios, hoping that there will be new survivors. During his spare time, Robert sometimes stands on the tail of a fighter jet and plays golf, and other times hunts in the streets of the city. One day, while he was chasing prey, his dog Sam entered a dark, sealed factory where the night monsters stay during the day. After hesitating for a moment, Robert bravely went in, and after a search, he finally found Sam under a table. He was eager to take Sam away, but Sam was too scared to move. Watching Sam's frightened look, Robert realized what was going on. After killing the night monster with a gunshot, Robert carried Sam and ran, commanding him to follow the small hole of light to escape. But he was not out of danger yet. Just as a night monster was about to bite him, Robert smashed the glass and escaped outside. The night monster struggled on the ground and died after a while. Robert did not leave immediately. Instead, he planned something in his mind. He took out a tube of blood and smashed it into a trap he had set up. Then, he nailed it to the ground and threw the rope up on the overpass. Later, he secured it on a scrapped car, which he pushed down from the bridge. Next, he took out another tube of blood and put it in the trap he had set up. Then, holding a gun, he carefully waited outside the factory. With a roar, a mysterious creature wrapped in black cloth was hung. Robert woke up and headed towards the black cloth, smashing it with all his might. The struggling creature fell silent. To his surprise, a night monster emerged from the factory entrance, hissing at him in the sun. However, it eventually retreated to avoid being burned by the sun. Robert never knew that this night monster was the one that killed his beloved dog, Sam. It had been three years since the virus outbreak, and he was one of the few who survived in the abandoned city of New York. Fortunately, Robert was immune to the virus and was also one of the researchers studying it. He continuously used his blood to develop a serum to combat the virus. After numerous experiments, he finally found a serum compound that stopped infected rats from attacking. He also hoped to test his serum on the night monsters to see if it could turn them back into humans. Unfortunately, the experiment failed, and the night monster he had captured died in agony. In frustration, Robert injected the night monster with a virus antidote. Reviving it in the end, Robert quickly got over his disappointment and continued to roam the city streets, trying to survive. One day, he was surprised to see a mannequin suddenly appear on the roadside. He drove his car towards it, pulled out his gun and shot it, hoping for a response. When he approached the mannequin, he did not realize that he had fallen into a trap. He was hit on the back of the head and passed out. He woke up later to find that he was tied up and injured. With his knife, he managed to free himself but accidentally stabbed himself in the thigh. As he crawled towards his car, three infected night monster dogs attacked him. He growled back and tried to fight them off. Fortunately, the last ray of sunlight prevented them from advancing. Robert desperately crawled towards his car, but with the fading of the last sunlight three night monster dogs rushed towards him. After a fierce battle, all three night monster dogs were killed, but Sam was gravely injured. Robert immediately returned home, found a serum compound, and administered it to Sam. He hugged Sam and prayed fervently, but there was no miracle. Sam's hair began to fall out, his pupils became dilated, and his teeth became sharp. Robert had to kill his companion with his own hands. The next day, Robert buried his beloved dog. Looking at the empty passenger seat made him very sad. When night fell, Robert did not drive back home but instead headed to the harbor, intending to destroy himself along with the night monsters, screaming in anger like a madman. He rushed towards them, revealing that his dog recently died from night monsters. Having lost his emotional anchor, he decided to commit suicide together with the night monsters. The night monsters, however, understood how to use tactical maneuvers. They climbed onto a street light, 
which they then toppled onto Robert's car before rushing towards him on the leader's command. Under the night monster's unrelenting attack, Robert and his car were overturned, just as the leader was about to kill Robert. A burst of intense ultraviolet light saved Robert, and the leader fled in terror. Robert was rescued by a mother and her child, but with Robert's recent loss of his dog, his emotions were unstable. Robert and Anna got into an argument after only a few words, and realizing that something was wrong, Robert hastily found an excuse to go upstairs. After Robert stabilized his emotions, Anna told him about her plan to escape, but Robert refused to leave. Anna brought Robert some water and stumbled upon the underground laboratory. Looking at the wall of experimental records, Anna seemed to understand Robert more. At night, Robert closed all doors and windows, as usual, but Anna still hoped that Robert would leave with her, as expected. The two got into another argument. Ever known is dead. Just then, Robert heard an unusual sound. He immediately asked Anna to turn off the lights, while he opened a small window to check. As the night monsters rushed towards them, Robert turned on the ultraviolet light. But to his surprise, it only stopped them for a moment. As the night monsters approached, Robert had no choice but to activate the long buried bomb. When Robert checked again, he saw a terrifying scene. The night monster leader roared, and a large group of night monsters rushed towards them. Robert hurriedly took the mother and child to the basement. He thought they would be safe there, but the night monsters found them. In a critical moment, Robert closed the glass door, barely stopping the night monster's advance. Then, the night monster leader burst out. The night monster leader continued to ram into the glass door, causing it to crack and shatter. Robert still wanted to take down the night monster leader, but the night monsters kept ramming into the glass door. Due to their constant attacks, the cracks in the glass door grew larger and larger. Robert made a bold decision. He handed Anna a vial of blood and rushed her and her child into the safe room. He then faced the night monsters alone. Robert took out a grenade and his eyes grew determined. Anna and her child successfully found the survivor base in the north and delivered the vial of blood to the survivors. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.